everybody. So today we're going to have the second tasting of batch six of 2023. So this is 2024 cleaning these up. Uh, I've got one more after this. So next month sometime, um, I'll review that. Now they could come out a little closer. They could come out a little further, but I try and do one every single month. Uh, this is what I would consider a New England IPA. So uh, this has Warrior, Amarillo, Citra, and Simcoe. What is that? I wonder if I picked... Oh, I guess I didn't realize. It's only got three. So I bet you I picked the wrong one. So Amarillo, Citra, and Simcoe. Some weird name uh, in there. So... Uh, Small batch. I'm not going to go through all of it. 1.25 gallons going into the carboy. So uh, this was brewed on August 28th. This is the beginning of 2024. Uh, so uh, Beersmith wanted this to be 6.9% ABV. It turned out at 7.46 ABV. Bottled on 9.9% and uh beersmith called for this to be four or says it's 48.3 ibus that'll be up to you uh i don't know how close that is it's not like i'm sending these out to get tested but let's go ahead and get this open good hiss um i'm guessing this is using the big carbonation tablets uh yep here we go see if i can get some of this in here without getting all the true. I do bottle directly out of the fermenter. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop there and we'll see how high this comes up. Might be good. Uh, so two of those big pearls would be 24 ounces because one big pearl, pearl is for 12 ounces. 12 plus 12 is 24. These are 22 ounce bottles. So technically they would be over carved, but it is what it is. Off white color had a little orange coming up through there. Pretty much all small bubbles. On the side, they're bigger spread apart. Uh, but there's a bottom layer. I'll go ahead and show you. But there's a bottom layer of small ones. I don't know if you can see that or not. Like right here, they're small. And up here, they're bigger. That's kind of weird. And the color of this is not what the color of it looks like. I, I would say orange. Not burnt orange, definitely not. This is not the color that you guys are seeing. Um, I don't even, you guys are kind, what I'm seeing in the camera is lighter than the actual brown bottle, but I would say orange. It's clear, I, I think this is technically from the, the uh, Treehouse uh, short that I watched that talked about or gave us a recipe um and i think they say this is an american ipa not a new england but i i would put it in a new england but that's just me uh hot or yeast was the omega 005 um yeah color looks good it's just not as cloudy like a new england ipa would be if anything hazy ipa this looks like Bell's Yellow, since I just looked at the sticker on the wall over there. This sticker that you're, or this plaque that you're seeing right here is a little lighter than what this is, but I've got a big sticker, a Bell sticker on the wall. That is the color of this, not, again, what you guys are seeing. Uh, we're getting some peaks and valleys. Let's go ahead and smell. This is going to go over. Always keep glasses. I'm going to stop there. There. Hopefully that doesn't. But you can see, I don't know if this is going to be the same color. This is hazier. See all that trube and stuff floating in there? That's usually what happens uh, when it's overcarbed. And if you watch a bottle, when you open it, you can kind of see it. It like flushes down and mixes everything up where if it's regularly carved, it comes off the top so that trube stays at the bottom. 
just something I picked up over the years. Um, I don't know why I set the bottle over there. I don't know if it really matters, but let's go ahead and smell. Yeah, citrus, orange citrus rind, maybe a touch of grapefruit bitterness in there. Uh, a little pine, just a touch of pine. Uh, but yeah, I would say that orange citrus, juicy citrus, uh, rind mixed with a little bit of rind, uh, like bitter grapefruit is there, then a touch of pine on the back. Maybe a touch of malt too. I mean, we're almost at a double. Maybe very, very light, sweet malt, like you would get in a double IPA, that malty syrup, that light malty syrup, just a little bit down. It almost smells like it could be a West Coast IPA. Like, it, it's the West Coast IPA, but not enough bitterness. Not enough IBUs in the beer to really crank it up to that West Coast style. But let's go ahead and taste Yeah, overcarbed a little. First taste, yeah, or orange rind bitterness, lot perceived bitterness. I would say sixty five. Definitely doesn't feel like forty eight fifty. There is some sweetness, like a juicier orange sweetness is what I'm getting definitely on the citrus side on this one I'm not getting the pine I'm getting some rind but maybe it's grapefruit like the it's upping the perceived bitterness of it because that taste I would have said okay it's got a little bit more sweetness than I thought Okay, yeah, there it is. Yeah, grapefruit rind on the back end, but that sweeter, juicier, meaty orange citrus up front. Not bad, but it, it's overcarved. I'm having a hard time getting the beginning of the palate just because everything's popping. Smooth, easy drinking. I don't even know if I would say it drinks like a seven and a half percent. It's almost like it's it, it's lower, in my opinion. Aftertaste, I get more like grapefruit rind, like the aftertaste of eating a grapefruit without that much sugar on top of it. Like, because usually you cut them, then I knife all the way around, then square each piece out and then eat it. I don't put um, sugar on mine, but yeah, just a touch of sugar, then that aftertaste from eating that, that grapefruit, that's what I'm getting in this one. For me, as it is, I would go 3.75. I think that overcarb is kind of killing it, but it's still good. I'm trying to think... I don't know how I would have drank this if I had more, uh, well, if I would have made a whole batch, like a whole five gallon batch of this, I would not have used two big pearl carb or carbonation tablets. These things, the Coopers, the, the big ones is what I used in there. And yeah, I wouldn't have used two. But because that's the only thing I had and I knew I was only going to get three bottles, I wasn't that worried about it. But yeah, it, it, it's fine. It works. It's more citrus. And I think those, maybe the Amarillo, maybe a little bit of fruit, but I'm, I'm not getting it. So it should be fine. Simcoe, usually I get uh, that onion, that garlic. I don't. Uh, I don't know if that's kind of faded in there, um, but it's still good. I would drink it, but I don't know how I would drink it if it was overcarb like this, because obviously 
I don't, I'm pretty sure you guys can see um, after I opened it, it started coming up. And after I poured it, it was coming up. So if you're drinking it out of here, you're probably done for. So make sure you get your uh, sugar water or your carbonation right if you're going to put them in bottles. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. If you have any recipes you want me to try, leave a link down below. Until next time. Cheers.